This is WNCT 9 on your side morning edition. Good Friday morning at 726. I'm Maria Satira. We'll have more details this morning on the deadly accident at Camp Lejeune, which left one Marine dead. Officials on base say a helicopter made a hard landing during a training exercise at Stone Bay, which is a satellite training area of Camp Lejeune. It happened around 9 o'clock on Wednesday night. About 20 Marines were participating in the training, which requires them to exit the back of the aircraft on a suspended rope while the helicopter hovers above a landing zone. We'll have more information following the 9 a.m. news conference. Local law enforcement agencies are trying to maintain normalcy despite recent attacks on cops across the country. Greenville Interim Police Chief Ted Soule says even though the recent attacks are frightening, officers still have jobs to do. He says officers should be aware but not paranoid. Chief Sauls tells WNCT the agency is always exploring new ways to keep officers safe. In response to the recent shootings, Martin County religious leaders are coming to show support for law enforcement in the area. Today, folks are invited to a community prayer for law enforcement in Williamston. It starts at 11. It takes place at the Law Enforcement Memorial Monument outside the Martin County Government Center. All right, a lot going on this weekend, so let's check in and see what your forecast will be like. Good morning to you, everybody. Yeah, I'm going to have to deliver, but unfortunately, Mother Nature's not going to cooperate. It's really pretty this morning. We're looking at partly cloudy skies and some patchy fog here and there, giving it a really pretty hue out there to the sky. But at the same time, this afternoon, it's not going to be so pretty if you have the outdoor plans and the rain scoots on by. Temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s this morning down at the Crystal Coast and out into the Outer Banks are in the mid to upper 70s. Then there's the patchy fog out there, really dense over in the Nash, Edgecombe, and Wilson counties and over in the Greenville seeing some of that as well. Uh, but along the immediate coast, we're looking okay. The hour by hour, we're showing that we're dry for the morning, but scattered showers and thunderstorms for the afternoon and early evening. Then it's all out of here by the time we get you into your Friday night football games, but more rain and storms come in on the scattered variety by the time we get you into the afternoon tomorrow. So that could put a damper on some of your plans uh, this afternoon if you go into pregame festivities and tomorrow afternoon as well. So 91 for a high this afternoon. Tonight, touchdown Friday games, we're okay. We're looking at temperatures starting off in the mid 80s at the 7 o'clock hour and right on through the 70s by the time we get you into uh, the fourth quarter of the game. 80 at kickoff tomorrow with scattered showers, and then we're drier by the time we get you into halftime in the latter part of the game. More rain for your Sunday. All right, keep that umbrella with you. You never know when you're going to need it this weekend. CBS This Morning continues now. We'll see you back here at 756 for more local news and weather. Stay with us this morning at WNCT.com.